bitch. And burn. Hey, so tonight I wanted to discuss Lady Tron's most recent release, and that is their self-titled album that they released a couple years. Wait, actually, when was this released? Yeah, this was released a few years back in 2018. And I had to buy this fuck again because I lost this to my most recent ex-girlfriend. She ended up with the CD and I was able to score the vinyl through Amazon for like 25 bucks and it was new too, it wasn't used. So that's awesome. The thing I like most about this album is I find that this sort of brings Ladytron full circle. And I suppose too that if this was to be their last release, that would this would be a fantastic way to go out because not only does this continue to sort of grow their sound from say Velocifero forward with the like more modern Ladytron sound right up through Gravity the Seducer and um, it builds off that, absolutely. But at the same time, this album pays tribute and it sort of takes things back to say like, you know, the 604 in the light and magic area. So I I liked that because that was sort of a sound that they had let go as of say like Velocifero forward, but it's back on here and it's sort of like this brings the band full circle almost because their sound is completely all encompassing. and They're not foregoing sort of like an earlier Ladytron vibe for a new Ladytron vibe. Like it, this record feels like 17 or Playgirl could be on here just as easily as Ghosts or 90 Degrees. You know what I mean? Like this record is sort of the quintessential radio. This is, this record is sort of like the quintessential, I said radio because I was thinking about the song by Rancid. I don't know how the hell that related. I'm watching Taylor Swift's fucking reputation on Netflix and I was thinking about Rancid's radio as I was discussing Ladytron's newest record. I don't know, man, my brain is like breaking down. It doesn't matter. I love this because I found that this record, it's like I said, this album feels like they're finally in, like they're sort of embracing old Ladytron and they're marrying them with new Ladytron. And I hope that's a sound that they continue to develop forward because it's great when a band like this who's been around for as long and they're as developed as they are, they sort of bring things full circle and they, they sort of like learn to love the old them again because you find with a lot of bands, they sort of let go of that earlier sound as they develop and the years roll on and the decades push forward. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like who you are at say 20 is not the person you're gonna be at 40. It's, it's not possible. So had this record not done that and had it just continued to build off, say, wherever they were going um, after Gravity the Seducer, because if I'm not mistaken, there was roughly like an eight year gap between the two. In the middle here, Marnie released two solo albums. So it has been a considerable amount of like space between Gravity the Seducer and this album. But nonetheless, I love how this, like I said, it sort of pays tribute to their old sound as well as their new sound and it does have, their songwriting has never been tighter. I mean, Paper Highways is on here and I, I love that song. It's like, as far as I'm concerned, it's like one of the best songs they've ever written. And for them to be able to still pull out songs like that this late in the game, that really says something about their ability as songwriters. And like I said, 17 would fit in here perfectly. And I love that when you can still sort of find that vibe and that energy that you had when you were younger and you can find a way to marry it to the more mature songwriters you are now that's a re like a real testament to their skill and their their precision as songwriters and i hope this isn't their last record more to the point too i hope there isn't another eight year gap until they release their next one but it does seem like they could be treading into like metallica territory here who knows but look i'm gonna go so thank you so much for sitting with me while I discussed Lady Tron's 2018 self-titled album, Lady Tron. Uh, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. And thank you so much for sitting with me and have a good night. I'll see you around. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.